Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be showcasing every character in ABA2 or All-Star Brawl, whichever one you want to take. But basically, if you don't know what this game is, it's basically just like ABA, but they have a whole bunch of different characters. See, they have Pepsi Man right here from my favorite anime, personally. I don't care about y'all opinions. Pepsi Man anime is the best anime, all right? And we also got like Mikey, Rimuru, all these people. So yeah, we're just going to be showcasing everyone. So let's just hop right into it. Okay, so we're going to be starting off with the best character, which is Pepsi Man. And if you don't know, the, the, the PvP is basically just the same exact thing. So it's just 1, 2, 3, and 1s. Obviously, they like change things around, but still 1, 2, 3, and 1s. They just copy like the mechanics, change the animations and effects. But that's about it. So first move, we have Pepsi Throw. You just throw a Pepsi at him and does 16 damage. Next move, we have Pepsi Spray. You spray with Pepsi a whole bunch of times, 10 times, and then knocks him back. So I think that's still 16 damage. I don't know. But it says 65 damage, so who knows. And then we have Pepsi Punch. So this just punches them, slams down. That does 15 damage. And then we have Can Jam, which is kind of like this like fly thing. You can fly around, and that does 15 damage too. Bar up here is your Awakening. And the green bar is your health, obviously. So let's just Awaken really quick. Alright, so as soon as you Awaken with Pepsi Man, turn into Coca-Cola Man. I think, I think this is kind of getting controversial. I think they're saying that Coca-Cola is better than Pepsi. Okay, so first we have Coca-Cola combo. You throw a Pepsi, and you uh, if you hit him with the Pepsi, you kick him up, and you slim him down. That does, I think, 35 damage? No, 40 damage. And then we have Coke drink. So basically, you just drink it. That heals you, and then you splash him back. does 18 damage. And then have Ispuma. As you can see, 20 damage, but I think that dude was low, so I, I think it does more than that. But it also damages you, as you can see, because obviously you blow up. And then we have Can Jam, which you just it's just like the normal Can Jam. I think it does 25, yeah, it does 10 more damage. And it's also a Coca-Cola bottle, or can now. So yeah, that's about it for Pepsi Man. Now let's move on to the next character. Okay, so now we have Mikey from Tokyo Revengers. Okay, so he has Kick. No, actually he doesn't. Okay, I thought he had Kick M once, like PTS Sanji, but no. Okay, so his first move is Kick, which is just a down slam. It's a really nice move name, just Kick. So, and then we also have Flying Kick, which like you do this like spin and then you kick him. And it guard breaks, I think. I th no, it does it? I don't know. I don't know. I think it guard breaks though. It should. So it does 25 damage. And then we have Quick Kicks, which is not a combo extender, but it, you do uh, some quick mess. Uh, 18 damage. I don't know how I couldn't think of that faster. But yeah, you do 18 damage, it, and it has like a little bit of end lag. Like, you like, look, it has like a little, I think it has a little bit of end lag, but if they're not smart enough, then you can combo extend with it. Yeah, but Kick does combo extend. Okay, now we have Street Hawk, which is kind of just like uh, the can jam. You kind of just ride your bike, and then it does 20 damage. Alright, now on to his Awakening. Okay, so his Awakening uh, is just like when he fought against uh, Kazutora. So first move is Missile Kick, which is just like the normal one, except it does more damage. And then we have Toman Gang, which you just summon a whole bunch of clones. And then it plays to fight back, except all of them are playing it, so it's really distorted. And they can also hit you, and you can hit them, I think. But no, actually you can't hit them. And then we have Beat Down, which basically is just a grab, grab them, and then you punch them, and then you uh, eventually slam them. Which does, I don't know, like 30 damage, I think. And then we have Street Hawk again, this time it does 5 extra damage. So yeah, that's about it for Mikey. Uh, yeah, he's a pretty good character. Like, he's also a starter, so he costs $0, which is pretty nice. Okay, now we have Rimuru. From that time, I got reincarnated as a slime. Okay, so uh, he has normal M1s, but if you use the analysis move here, I'll just showcase it later. Okay, so his first move is a grab. Uh, I think this might heal you, but basically, you just grab him really quick and, like, slime him up or something. I don't know. And then we have uh, your Black Flame. This is like a projectile. You just shoot it out. 20 damage. And a Guard Breaks. And then we have Auto Battle Mode, which is just like a combo extender. Just like home bunch of kicks, punches, things. And then we also have Analysis, which basically just like cut them like this. 15 damage. And now you have Sword on ones. So basically you just get extended range after that. And you have Sword on ones for a little while. So it's pretty nice. But if you press 4 again, it doesn't do anything. So... Yeah, you can also just combo extend with auto battle mode just like that. But yeah, Rimuru is pretty nice and base. Okay, so now we have our awakening. Or she, I mean he. Okay, so basically you just like take off your mask and now you have this aura. Okay, so our first move is Bezel Bubu. So basically you just like hold out your little diesel bub thing. And yeah, 
as you can see, it's very balanced. You know, there's nothing you can do about it. You can block it, but like if you don't block it, you can't escape it unless you have an evasive. And you kind of just sit there. It's really good in Publix. And and he's free, by the way. Zero dollars. And then we have Raphael Auto Combat. Basically, you just have blue ones now, and it does double damage. And then we have Merciless, which is basically just like an auto aim. Just shoot. 40 damage. And it guard breaks. Balanced, as usual. Okay, this is this is a character, car, car, character that Par would make. Okay, now we have Absorb. This heals you. Like, if you absorb him. Yeah, see, it heals you. I think it's it's supposed to do damage. Like, did it do damage? I, I don't know why that didn't do damage, but it's supposed to do damage. Okay? So, yeah, that's about it for Rimuru. Now on to the next character. Okay, so now we have Yu from Persona 4. Uh, so, he has sword on ones, as you can see. He has a sword. Pretty nice. His first move is Zeo, which is like... It's like kind of auto-aim. Yeah, it's an auto-aim. Slam down 12.5 damage. And it also guard breaks, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, it's pretty good. And then we have Izanagi Rush, and basically you just cut them, and then you summon your little persona, and then cut them even more. And then we have Cleave, which basically just... Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm lagging. Yeah, I have 150 ping. I don't know why I'm lagging. But basically, yeah, you just summon your persona again, and then cut them. And then we have Raku... Ra Raku. Yeah, we have Raku. Basically, I, I'm pretty sure this just gives you, like, a damage buff. Yeah, as you can see, I'm doing 5 this thing now does uh 16 yeah so it just gives you a damage buff and it's it's pretty nice you know it lasts a while and then now on to his awakening which is not really awakening but basically it just heals him to full so it's kind of just like zenitsu and toby in anime ballerina the real one so as you can see if i just use it i just get healed to full so yeah that's about it for you on to the next character okay so now we have shade i actually don't know who this is or what they're from but i, I think they might be from Mortal Kombat, I don't know. Don't, don't, don't rage at me in the comments, but if he isn't from Mortal Kombat, I, I, I just don't know where he is from, but I, I'm gonna go with he's from Mortal Kombat. So our first move, he has, just has normal fist M ones. Our first move is Shadow Jab. Like, his main gimmick is that he has, like, a, like, another self, like, he has, like, a shadow. So basically, you, like, punch him for 2.5, your shadow slams him down, and then you teleport behind them and slam him down again. But the sh your shadow does 10 damage, and you only do 2.5. And then we have Dark Disperse. I'm pretty sure this is a counter, but it kind of sucks as a counter. Like, look, see? So basically, you just teleport to them, but, like, it doesn't put them in end lag. It's kind of just like an iframe teleport to you counter move, but it's it's not the best. And then we have Upward uh, uh, upward Umbral. So you just kick them down, your shadow then slams them down for 5 damage. And then we have Purgatory, which is just, like, you, you hit your shadow once, which is not, like, the main part. And now, as you can see, every single time I M1, my shadow also M1s behind them. So, you, yeah, this uses, like, a really good combo character. Like, you can just do some insane combos. Or, oops. You can just, like, hit him with that. I can run over there. I can punch him like that. Shadow Jab is also a true combo extender. So, yeah, it's, he's just a really good um, combo character. And for his awakening, basically, uh, you get these, like, boss raid arms. From Rogue Lineage, and we have Shadow Grab again. This just does more damage. See five, and then uh, I think it's fifteen, and then five, and then we have Shade Engulf. Uh, this is just like a big AOE, and it stuns them, does damage, and you can combo after that. That's really loud. And then we have Upward Umbral again. Does dam does more damage, or actually, no, you kick him up. Your sh Shadow Clone picks him up again, and then it slams him down. And then we have Shadow Choke, which is just like, uh, if it, you can block this, but if you hit it, then it, like it's just like a stun move. So yeah, that's about it for Shade. On to the next character. Okay, so now we have Shinra from Fire Force, and he just has normal ones. He doesn't do kicks. His first move is Rising Phoenix. A lot of people like to use this dude for some reason, but basically you just kick him up and slam him down 25 damage. And then we have Flaming Vortex, which is like a combo starter slash extender. Basically, you just dash at him and then kick him a whole bunch, like, in a little spiral. And then we have Kusakabe Combo, which, like, you... It's like Party Table Kick course. You just kick him a bunch of times and then knock him back. And then we have Hellfire, which is like uh, Madara's Great Fireball from ABA. You just dash back and then you hit him with the Hellfire. It's supposed to have, like, a little dragon head that goes to them, but I think I lagged right there. So, here is his Awakening... Basically, yeah, now our legs run fire, so we just have Diablo Jambu now. 
And our first move is just Rising Phoenix again. This just does more damage. It's just still the same animation. And then we have Flaming Vortex. I think this one lasts longer and it slams down now. Like, oh my... Dude, that just one-shot him. Holy crap, that's broken. And then we have Kusakabe combo. Now this time we have two. As you can see, it's two little cut things. And it doesn't knock back, actually. So it's a combo extender. And then we have Hellfire again. This time it shoots three dragons. As you can see, that's what the dragons look like. So yeah, uh, pretty quick showcase. Uh, that's about it for him. He's kind of just like a spammable character. Pretty easy to combo with, too. Like, it, it's really just not fair. Yeah, as you can see, that's basically one-shot combo. So yeah, on to the next character. Okay, so now we're on the Lion Sin of Pride, Escanor himself. Um, yeah, so obviously he has his Rita M1s, which are just extended M1s. And then we have our first move, which is Design Divine Sword Escanor, which basically you just use your hand and just slam down 20 damage. And then we have Who Decided That, which is a evasive counter. It's like, um, look, I'll just show you. So like, if I'm getting hit, and, like, I'm in a combo, right? I can just use that in the middle of a combo and knock him back for 12 damage. And look at that cooldown. Look how short that is. It's not fair at all. Like, it's it's really just unbalanced. And then we have Cruel Sun. This, uh, yeah, the, I think the more damage... The, I don't know how it works, but basically, like, it keeps changing in variation. I think, like, the more you use it, the more it... Like, the bigger it gets. I'll, I'll show you guys later. And then we have Super Slash, which guard breaks, but it's, like, a knockback 20 damage. So if I should if I do cruel sun again since I just used it as you can see it's even bigger but I, I didn't I didn't get to showcase like the first form of it but that's like that's the biggest I can get so let me showcase the first form really quick okay so this is what it looks like when it first starts out as you can see it's like a tiny little fireball but the more you use it the bigger it gets so that's about it for Escanor but now we have our awakening uh, you basically just become the one as you can see uh, they do the one by being yellow. So our first move is Divine Sword Escanor again, which basically just the same thing, except it does 35 damage now. Uh, I don't know why are we using our Fist M1s if, when we have our Rita in our hands, but whatever. And then we have Divine Spear Escanor, which is, I think it's like a ranged move. No, it actually isn't, but uh, yeah, you just do like a little jab. Uh, I'll showcase it again later. And then we have Pride Flare, which is, it's really nice. As you can see, very balanced and loud. Uh, so that did like 45 damage, I think. But like the closer they are to the middle of that giant ball is the more damage it does. So I'll showcase Divine Spear again. Basically, you just jab them. Oh, that's actually a combo extender too. So that does 25 damage. And then we have Super Slash again, which is another 20 damage. And it also has like another cut thing. So if you miss it, then you have like a projectile. So yeah, that's about it for Escanor. And I'll see you guys on the next character. Okay, so now we have Meliodot- What did I just say? Meliodas. And we have our first move- Well, obviously we have Dagger M1s. Uh, I think it's still like Sword M1 range, which is kind of weird. But I, I guess it works. So we have Physical Clones, which is just like Shadow Clone Jutsu, except there's four of them. And they do three damage each. That's 12 damage. And then we have Lost Vein Rush, which basically just cut them up a whole bunch. And it does, like, at the start, as you can see, it's 1.4. And at the end, it does negative- or not yet yeah, does 0.3 damage so like the, at the start the more you hit like it the less damage it does the more hit you the more you hit the less damage it does and then we have full counter which obviously just counters all damage oh my gosh dude no, hold on no 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 you're not gonna get me i just okay full counter as you can see if anyone hits you with any damage obviously it just counters it back and then we have demon mark which changes some of your moves so as you can see you get a movement speed buff right, that's an iframe son oh my gosh Okay, as you can see, moving speed buff, we do more damage now. We do 0.6 more damage. And obviously, it, that also uh, goes over to our moves. See, that did 3.5. And also, it changes loss. Oh my gosh, I ran out of time. Okay, so as I was saying, Demon Mark, and then we can do Lost Vein Rush. As you can see, it has purple slashes now, and it does it no longer knocks back. And I don't think it actually does anything to full counter, but it might. So yeah, that's about it for... Uh, well, actually, no, I have Awakening. I don't know what I'm saying. But that's it. That, okay, that's about it for his base. There we go. All right, so here's an awakening. We just go assault mode. Uh, as you can see, now we have our little cloak thing. So our first move, we have Dark Aura, which basically, after like a second, we just like do a blast and do, knocks down for 20 damage. And then after that, we have a thousand divine cuts. Basically, we just uh, teleport behind them and cut them up. That does like 30 damage. 
and then we have full counter again. This time, you have no end lag, so if you miss your full counter, then, uh, yeah, you just don't get punished. And look how that cooldown. I think that's, uh, five seconds. Pretty nice. So as you can see, if I miss full counter, no end lag at all. And then we have Lost Vein Strikes. Uh, basically, you just cut up a whole bunch and then kick them back. But yeah, that's about it for Meliodas. On to the next character. Okay, so then we have Kazuma Kiryu from uh, Yakuza. Uh, as you can see, we have a very beautiful face in this because they were too lazy to add their own. So our first move, Drop Kick. You just Drop Kick them and you do 15 damage and knocks back. Um, and you just have normal punches. First move, and then we have our next move, which is Superman Punch. You do like a little dash forward and then you punch them like Superman. Uh, I missed that, but it, it would knock them down. And then we have Rush. Which basically you just like do a dash forward and then you like punch him a couple times and then you can comic sin off that. And here's Superman punch again. Uh, as you can see, 10 damage. And then we have Dragon combo, which is like a whole bunch of hits. It's kind of like uh, it, you just like do a whole bunch of kicks over and over again. It's kind of hard to hit because like it moves you forward while you're doing it, which is pretty, <clears throat> pretty annoying. So yeah, this is what the rush actually looks like. Yeah, he's a pretty good character. I, I like him. And here's dragon combo again you kind of have to like move around him because like it it you know you like it keeps moving and then at the end it punches them knocking them back and here's his awakening basically we come we become we become goro majima and now we have our um breaker moves and um baseball bat but here's our batter up basically you just knock them back and then we have backflip kick which basically just it's like um the one, the PDS Sanji move, I forgot what it's called. And then we have Breaker Table, which is like Kusakabe combo, except faster, and it combo extends. And then we have Breaker Combo, which is um, basically like a whole bunch of, like a series of hits. It's kind of hard to land that move, though, but it does some pretty good damage. So yeah, that's about it for Kazuma slash Goro. Okay, so now we have Nagisa from Assassination Classroom. Uh, so she only has a base, so she has no awakening yet, or probably never. So our first move, we have Anti-Teacher Pistol, 7.5 damage, and look at that cooldown. Yeah, that's right. No cooldown on it. Yep. You can literally just run, spam, Anti-Teacher Pistol if you're good at aiming it, and just does 7.5 damage. Obviously, they can block it, but you know, like, it's still just really annoying. And you can ladder with it, so it's basically just like a infinite ladder like there's nothing you can do with it it's it's just really just super balanced and then we have clap stunner which basically you just clap them and then it stuns them 25 damage and that also guard breaks and then we have anti-teacher knife you do like one slash and then another slash and then another slash yeah it's pretty cool so like if you miss the first one like it keeps like extending its range so you can like keep doing that so here's Clap Stunner Guard Breaking, as you can see. It also does 15 damage, even if it guard breaks. And then we also have Discernment, which is evasive. So if I use Discernment, obviously, it also makes you, like, go invincible, invisible. And then you have a little bit of a, like, a movement speed buff. And as you can see, I'm pressing G right now and no awakening. So yeah, that's about it for Nagisa. Okay, so now we have Archer. Uh, he does start with his little uh, white and black dagger things, and we have extended M1s. So our first move, we have Kalagbolg. I don't know. Kal Kal I think it's Kalabolg, or something like that. But basically, you just shoot arrow, 30 damage, very good, but it knocks back. And then we have Vanishing Slice, which is like, um, what's that one, dude? Uh, Vegito in ABA, which is like, you just, like, you have a little white uh, thing, and then you teleport over them and slam them down. Which does 20 damage, pretty nice. And then we have Trace on. I can't do this because there's dummies here, but basically it just copies one of their moves randomly from them. But like it's kind of bugged right now, so like it it does it once, like it works once. It works once, but then it bugs and you can't ever use it again for the match. So it, it's kind of sucks. And then we have Row Ice, which is obviously just an iframe thing. You can just block infinitely, and if you click, it cancels it. Okay, so now for his Awakening. Uh, he should be talking right now, but I think I have my sound off. But basically, he's just saying the speech for the Unlimited Blade Works, and then we're going to be teleported to the Unlimited Blade Works map. As you can see, all the fire. Okay, so here we have Vanishing Slice. Obviously, that's just the same thing. I They don't teleport the dummies, which is kind of dumb, but 
basically it's just the same thing, it does more damage. We have unlimited blade works, which, uh, which, I mean, it just summons swords. It's like arrow, it's like sword volley. And then we have rapid fire, which just shoots a whole bunch of swords after that. It's like rapid fire from Gilgamesh. Then we have row ice, which is obviously movable and you can do stuff. It's just like the one from ABA. So yeah, um, that's about it for Archer. Okay, so now we have Gogeta from Dragon Ball. Um, basically, he's just like, he's a really, like, everyone loves using this dude. Like, you'll see so many Gogetas, bro. Like, he's he's actually really good, though. So at first, we have Punisher Drive. Like, you throw out this little wind orb, and if it hits someone or, like, goes past them, you just cut them up a whole bunch of times for 20 damage. And then we have Mad Dance. Uh, basically, you just kick them and then um, do, like, a little combo thing. It's kind of like uh, Yorichi's Roar. And then we have Comet Strike, which is like um, you do like this little dash and you can use it up to three times, 10 damage each time. And on the third one, it slams down and guards breaks if they're blocking. And then we have Super Saiyan, which obviously uh, you get Super Saiyan and you just do more damage now. It's gonna be 4.7. This does 1.2 every hit. Uh, this, you know, how much is, I don't even know how much damage that does, but it does a whole bunch. It's really annoying too. And here's Comet Strike, see as you can see, oh, um, well, I think, I don't know why I did that, but, okay, no, it's the first one, so if it's the first one that hits, it, like, you can block the last two, but if you hit with the first one, it guard breaks, and also Mad Dance does guard break, which is pretty annoying, because it's really broken, so yeah, now for his Awakening, okay, Awakening, now we have Gogeta Blue, and our first move is full force Kamehameha. This is really hard to land in 1v1s, but if like you're in a public, it's really easy to land. As you can see, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty balanced. Uh, does like 90 HP or 80, something like that. And then we have super mad dance. So basically now we just do, it's just faster. And it also teleports just to it, so you can combo extend. And then we have comet strike, which basically you just like, Grab them up and then slam up to the air. I hit that does not last long. That awakening is very short, but it's very OP. That's for sure. So yeah, comet strike basically just like do a dash. You can turn now, and if you hit someone, you do 25 damage and hit them up. And then we have stardust fall, which basically yeah, you just jump up and then you just shoot them a whole bunch of times. And it, it, it's really easy to just like you can't do anything about them once you're hit with the first one, and you can just keep getting hit by all of them, bro. So yeah, he just has a lot of like big AOE moves. And they're just really OP, so yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, I don't know why. Okay, that did hit. Okay, so yeah, that's about it for uh, Gogeta. Okay, on to the final stretch. Now we have Hashirama. I'm not going to showcase half stage mode yet because it's just a buff. So our first move we have Wood Clone. You just summon a Shadow Clone or a Wood Clone, I should be. And if once it hits them, they turn into wood, and then that's about it. it does 15 damage. And then we have wood grab, which like you summon this little like wood block thing and it goes and hits them. It's a combo extender, but it doesn't actually grab them, which is kind of weird. And then we have wood arm. So you just send up this giant wood pillar and it comes back down and hits them. So yeah, that's about it for wood arm. 20 damage and obviously half stage mode. We get this like movement speed buff and we do. Okay, actually, no, I think it's just a movement speed buff. Yeah, I think it, I think it is actually just a movement speed buff. So. Yeah, as you can see, it doesn't grab him. It's just a combo extender. So yeah, that's about it for Hashirama. I actually we have Awakening. I don't know why I keep saying that's about it once we're done with the base. Okay, for his Awakening, we do like a little puff, and now we're better. Now we have Sage Mode on. So I'm not going to shook his Buddha statue yet, because obviously it's his best move. We have Wooden Clones. Now there's two, so 30 damage if it hits both. And then we have Wood Grab again. This time, uh, it just does more damage. I, actually, it doesn't do more. I, I don't know what's different about it this time. Now we have wood dragon, so uh, yeah, now the wood arm has a dragon head, and I think it does more damage. And then finally we have Buddha statue, which is probably like the coolest move, but in 1v1s it's absolute garbage. Because like, look, so as you can see we summon this Buddha statue and we rain down all these meteor fists, but I cannot do anything. I can't do anything while I'm like that. I can't click, I can't block, I can jump though. So people can, I'm pretty sure you're just really vulnerable while you're doing like that. Unless you get iframes. If you get iframes, then that's pretty good. But as you can see, it just absolutely just devastates everyone. So yeah, that's about it for Hashirama. Okay, on to the final character. We have Ichigo. I think this, no, it's just normal Bankai Ichigo. So our first move, we have Mask. I'm not going to do that yet. But we have Can't Lose, which I think is another uh, evasive insight. Okay, no, it's not. 
but basically it's a counter um, yeah as you can see um, it just slams them down so you can like counter them and then do your own combo and then when you have flash step slices you do a flash step and then slice them which I don't know why it's called slices and then we have Getsuka. This hitbox is really weird. Like, you have to be, like, all the way back here for it to hit. But if I were to be, like, right in front of it, as you can see, I don't hit that dude. Like, it didn't even hit the dude I was aiming at. But if I'm, like, right here and try and hit my Getsuga, which I don't know why it's called Getsuga. It looks like a Cero to me. But look. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Normally, it has a bad hitbox, okay? These people decided they wanted to get hit today, so they got hit, okay? So, look. Getsuga. Okay, maybe they fix it, okay? Maybe they fix it, whatever, whatever, fine. Fine, it didn't hit him last time. Maybe if you're too far, like, look look how big, look how big it is. Look how long the Getsuka is, as you can see. Okay, well, okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, Mask, so basically, here we have Mask. Uh, we get a movement speed buff and no damage buff, but now our moves change, so Flash Up Slices, we do two cuts, which does 30 damage, actually really good. And then we have Getsuka now, we do two hits, one, two. I don't know how that dude's getting hit. That dude is, I don't know what those hitboxes are. And here we have Can't Lose. I don't think Can't Lose changes. And obviously, if people do enough damage to you, it will shatter. But until then, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, as you, uh, you can hear like some little cracking noise, as you can see. And it's about to break off, as, just like that. And I forgot to showcase, okay, hold on. Okay, so basically I forgot to showcase that it's just like ABA. If you put on your mask and then you use mask again, you get this like slice thing, but it doesn't have an animation. But basically it's just a comma extending slice. Okay, so onto his awakening. Uh, he does not have two awakenings like ABA. And I don't know why it puts like this giant black box on your screen. Uh, that's kind of weird. But yeah, now we have our Vastal Lorde form. Uh, first move, you have Annihilation Sero, which is just a quick little... It's like Sinji Sero, Sero from ABA. Uh, that does some pretty good damage. And then we have Rear Slice. It's literally just ABA. You just teleport behind them and slice them. Uh, but that one actually combo extends. And then we have Roar. Pretty sure this is just like ABA. Yep. But it does double damage. And then we have Flash Step Slices, which is not like ABA. And as you can see, I'm pretty sure that does... Yeah, that actually does 45 damage. So you do one slice and then slice, slice. So yeah, that's pretty nice. So uh, it's sometimes like... like it's like this like this character is very buggy like look I, I i can't even sprint i can't even like move it's like really weird but yeah here's um yeah you can also combo with uh kamehameha kamehameha's in this game so yeah that's gonna be about it for this video thank you guys so much for watching uh we're really close to 1k so it'd be really cool if you could help me uh reach 1000 subscribers uh join my discord like the video if you liked it if you didn't then tell me why in the comments and i'll see you guys next time bye